we used to have a lot of programs in the evening. The gallery would close at 7 p.m. And at 7.30, we would have concerts, play readings, poetry readings. People were composing their own songs. So we had this thing that you can sing a Bob Dylan or a Joan Baez, or you can sing a very popular musical composition of Kishori Amonkar's, but why not do something of your own? And people loved that. So we had this surface. I said, original composition. I don't want anything less. So that's how we started, and uh, we had really the who are today the who's who, whether they're poets, whether it's in Indian classical music, Indian class, uh, Indian vocal music, Indian instrumental music, people writing poetry, people writing short stories. We were even screening film shows, and when it got very difficult, like we so showed the whole ascent of man, we sh showed the whole age of civilization. The British Council, Alliance Française, Max Müller Bhavan, gave us a lot of support. And they had these films in their libraries, just lying over there, and they couldn't always show it at their venues. So I would take it over, and over a period of seven days, eight days, I would prepare sandwiches in the afternoon. People would come from work. They wanted a cup of tea, no aerated drinks. So I would prepare limbu pani and things like that. And we had some lovely evenings. And we even had the courage with a very good friend of mine who himself was a child of the theater, Johann Jeffries. His mother taught drama in schools in Bombay, nephew of Pearl, nephew of Alec. Uh, his father was one of the best lighting experts in Bombay, Derek Jeffries. Johann was one year junior to me at school. And we decided to do two rock shows through the music of the Beatles. One was Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and the other was Tommy. I also didn't know what Tommy was really all about, okay? It was the age of the flower children. It was the age of psychedelia, psychedelic stuff. It was the age of Abbey Road. And I went to NCPA. I said, I'd like to use your auditorium. This is going to be what we call a multimedia show. Johan was a whiz at all this. He'd learned, you know, he'd, he'd grown up in the theater. And um, Dr. Narayana Menon said, yes, we'll do it, because they needed a young, vibrant audience coming to NCPA at 89 Bulla by Desai Road, Akash Ganga. And we had sold out shows. That is the first time a friend of mine who'd returned from America, again, one year junior to me in school, said, I'll be your bouncer. I said, I don't want you to bounce anybody. What do you mean by bouncer? He said, I will see that we don't have more than, it's a, it's a fire hazard. It's all sorts of hazards, and I didn't want to be on the wrong side of NCPA. We had to stop the number at 100. So if you were late at the end of the show, we, would, we had blocked certain dates, and they did give us a lot of leeway. We had so many shows of these two concerts, you know, at the NCPA. But mainly it was restricted to the footprint within Simrosa. And they were really, really a big success. And, uh, of course, the normal principles one adhered to, and everybody knew that. Please don't bring anything dangerous to smoke. As a matter of fact, don't bring anything to smoke. I get an allergy for it. It's not good for the singers' voices either not good for the musicians either, and please don't bring any liquid beverages which you would not be allowed to have. So everybody adhered to those rules. There were, I mean, no one was forcing you to come. If you came, there were rules, like everywhere else in the world. And uh, so that, we were, we were really different in that. We were really, it was identified, we were young. So it was a young people's gallery. And even though I'm 50 years older, uh, people say, oh, it's, it's very youthful, and you've got so many young artists, but that was the whole purpose. Where do young artists go when they haven't had that solo show in their portfolio? And that still continues.